Yes, friends. Now I'm taking the seventh coot, which is known as Bakut coot or Rasi coot. Okay, it's very interesting to just note down because the reason is that this is this will help the people to predict. But in so far as prediction of any horoscope is concerned, but the position of planets, okay, in different positions, right? Planets, not only planets, but in in this case, moon position we are discussing about because in case of matching of horoscope. Okay, of uh, a couple or two partners. Okay, for any uh, doing any business or any partnership. For that purpose, if I just uh, take the okay horoscope of two partners or two people or two uh, in this case a boy and a girl or uh, two couples, right? Or or two persons, right? Or a couple. In that situation, we have to find out the natal moon's position, right? We are matching or comparing what is the positions of the natal moon. Natal means means. In the birth horoscopes, what is the position of the moon in different signs or rasis? Okay, in this case also rasis we are considering, right? Different positions of the uh, two moons with respect to each other in the two horoscopes is being discussed here. This is known as bakut kut or rasi kut, right? Where what is the position of the natal moons in both the horoscopes or uh, in the horoscopes of both the partners or? Both the two people, whosoever are there. Now, what is the comparison between their positions? Now, position means in this case bakut kut or rasi kut. That means positions of the moon in the natal uh, native horoscopes or natal moon positions, right? So, natal moon positions means birth horoscopes moon positions is what the position of uh, each moon with respect to each other, right? Or in both the horoscopes with respect to each other. Now there are certain positions of moons in two horoscopes. If the positions are, for example, two twelve, two twelve means uh, the two moons positions are two twelve to each other. Means if suppose there is a twelfth position from the native native moons or the person's moon, or in the second position two twelve position is not considered good. Fifth nine or five nine position, right? This is known as nav pancham dosh, right? 26 position sorry 212 position is duidwadas or durdwadas dosh durdwadas dosh is also not good position i'll talk about that. what is durdwadas means what is uh, uh, nav pancham means right or 59 position and then 268 uh, position this is known as shad astak dosh shad astak these three positions of moon of both the horoscopes or both the uh, partners in this case boy and girl are not considered good, they are only malefic positions. What are the uh, maleficence of them? When this maleficence will be decreased or can be decreased, what are the positions? Suppose there are two horoscopes in which this kind of position occurs. Then there are certain other conditions with which we will match the two horoscopes. That if these conditions are there, then this kind of position is not so much malefic, right? So that maleficence is diminished or decreased. So we'll talk about that. Okay, third, I'll talk about that. That positions I'll discuss about. Then, secondly, in case of Durdas's position, there are certain positions in which that position is also not so much malefic, right? Not so much malefic or maleficence is decreased or is diminished. Similarly, in case of Sadastra positions, Sadastra position is also having some certain positions in which if moons are there. Then their third aspect position may be positive or, or maleficence is decreased, right? But there are certain other positions in which, if moons are found, one seven position this is known as some saptam position. Some saptam, some saptam position or some sapt position is considered good, always benefic, even if they are the uh, the rasi lords are not uh, friends, so they are malefic even. Okay, they are not uh, friends to their enemies. Even then, this position, some saptam is known as some sap, some saptak or some saptam is known as positive or benefic or wish. So, uh, seven points are given here because this is seventh coot after sixth coot, which I have discussed about. First was Barna coot, then there was Bashi coot, then Tara coot, Yoni coot, Grahamatri coot, and uh, and and uh, uh, yeah, Gun coot. Sixth one, gun coot, right? Now this is seventh, bakut coot. Set for seven points. We have seven points are allotted. In which condition seven points are allotted? And why? In other positions seven, in place of seven points, we are giving null point or zero point, right? So zero point is or no point is allotted. 
these are those conditions in which no quantity is. So this is 6, 8 position, uh, 5, 9 position and 2, 12 position. Right? These three positions are malefic positions. In this situation, 0, 0 points are given or uh, null points are given. No points is given or null points are given or 0, 0 points are given. Okay, so this is how you know, these three malefic conditions. But in other positions like 1, 7, 4, 10 position, right, 4, 10, 4, 10 positions and 3, 11 positions, 7 points are given. But there are still there are certain positions in which that benef benefic position or beneficence is decreased. That we will discuss about. But before that, let me talk about this table, how this table is created. So as I told you, that there are certain malefic positions. These are the, some facts about Rasi Kut and this is our taken here matching of Bakut Kut or Bakut. Matching of Bakut or Rasi Kut. How matching of Bakut Kut is you now this table is prepared. This table is prepared with the help of bride grooms. Rasis we have taken 1 to 12. Rasi is here. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces. Similarly here for bright, this is bright. Rasi is here. Rasis, these Rasis and these Rasis. Okay. These Rasis are again 1 to 12 Rasis. Aries, Taurus, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra. Scorpio, right? Then Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. So 12 signs, 12 Rasis from here. 12 Rasis in case of bridegroom. Then what are the points given to them? If there is one seven position, so wherever the point is given, suppose we are considering this one sign, there is sign from bridegroom sign. So let me count this uh, row by right? So first row, one one position for same position. 7 points are given. So this is 1 1 position, 7 point, 2 2 position, 7 point, 3 3 position, 7 points, 4 4 position. Right? Rasi 4th, Rasi 4th of each 7 points. So same Rasi if is found. Moon are placed or moons of both the horoscopes or both the natives are placed in the same sign. Is very benefic or is considered benefic. Conditions are there. What are the conditions? That they must not be the same nachatra. Rasi is the same, but nachatra is not the same. If nachatra is the same, no problem. Nachatra can be same, but they are not in the same quarter. If nachatra is the same, then the moons are not placed in the same charnach or quarters. There are four quarters, I mean, four parts of every nachatra of 3 degree 20, 20 minutes, 3 degree 20 minutes, 3 degree 20 minutes, 3 degree 20 minutes. Minute. Four quarters are there in every nachatra. So if moon is placed in the same nachatra or in the same sign, this is for same time one one. Suppose Aries Aries sign is there, and moon is placed uh, in Aries sign of both the natives, bride and bridegroom. Right in that situation, if it is there, then moon is placed in the same sign, no problem. But and uh, they are placed in the same nachatra also. If it is there, that moons are placed in the same sign, same nachatra but they should not be placed in the same quarter then it is okay but if they are placed in the same quarter then the problem is there this uh, same sign condition is not uh, good or not benefit right in that situation the condition is avoided now that can be avoided if they are in the same quarter same nachatra same sign okay but if same sign is there considered good but or same nachatra if it is there no problem but quarter must not be same okay all this all the three things, Rashi or sign, Nachatra and Quadra. There are four parts of the Abhi Nachatra. Abhi Nachatra, if they have been four quarters, then uh, moons are not placed in the same degree or same quarter. Same quarter, three degree, 20 minutes. They are placed in the same same degree. No, this is not accepted. And then, the same Rashi, seven points are given, no problem. So, seven points, one seven condition. 17 condition is considered good if moons are in the 17 condition first is in one and other moon is in libra sign 17 right similarly any two any 17 condition can be there taurus and then it is scorpio taurus and scorpio 17 position gemini and then sagittarius 17 position 
What is one seventh position? If horoscope is there, then first house and seventh house. First house, seventh house. So depends upon which Rasi is placed in the ascendant in Lagna. Suppose Aries is there, then the seventh house there will be liberal sign. If it is Taurus sign in the Lagna or ascendant, then it will be Scorpio eighth sign in the seventh house. So one seventh position, some septum position is considered good, even if the uh, Rasi lords are and which no problem at all but some sub position is considered good and seven points are given how this table is prepared that i'm going to tell you is very simple very easier one let me first discuss about this thing right so how this table is prepared let me first talk about this and this table is prepared taking considering one seven position good three eleven condition good seven seven points are allotted four ten position considered good so 7 7 positions or 7 7 points are given right but 6 8 not good 2 12 position not a good 0 0 points are allotted for 2 12 6 8 and 5 9 5 first 2 12 then 5 9 and 6 8 positions so these 6 point six houses or 6 uh, uh, I mean signs are given 0 0 while other 6 are given 7 7 points what are the seven seven points given that is to be considered or that is very easily to be understood let me just take that good thinking about this and that will be repeated in every sign every every row that are that will be repeated that is very simple one just to understand one row second row also i'll take every row i'll just clarify discuss about and this is very simple to frame this table what is that position but you have just remember that one seven one seven position good considered good three eleven condition considered good four ten fourth house and tenth house a moon are placed in four ten to each other three eleven to each other seven seven points are given and one seven these three positions are good let me just take here you see these are malefic two twelve five nine six eight malefic no points are given in other cases seven points are given these three positions or these six positions six eight five nine two twelve so these six positions are given zero zero points these are malefic two twelve five nine six eight these are the malefic positions of the planet of the moons if the moons are to each other two twelve position right or bride and bridegroom position is two twelve to each other or moon, their moon's position bride Bride's moon's position and bridegroom's moon's positions are 212 to each other, 59 to each other, 68 to each other, then 00, zero points are given. No points are allotted, right? But if the positions are 17, 3, 11, 4, 10, these six houses are considered, or these three po six positions are considered, six, uh, let me take uh, signs of six positions are considered good, so 7, 7 points are allotted. Now let me take from the first row this is first position one and seventh from this will be seven points so one seven point is this seven sign so seven points seven points three and eleven and eleventh house is this so seven seven points are given then fourth or four ten four ten so fourth house and tenth house seven seven points these six houses are given or six rasis are given seven seven points this is these positions are one seven three eleven and four ten just re remember this understand this is easier one but these positions of the planets are considered good not only moons but other planets are there if they are friendly signs then if they are in this these positions one seven three eleven right and uh, 410 they are considered good positions right so this is for prediction purpose also in case of prediction we are just thinking about moon's positions in the considering the moons of two persons or two people then we can just remember we can just think about that these are the uh, benefit positions okay so that i have just talked about now let me take the other positions 2 12 see the 12th 12th sign and the 2 0 0 again Again, uh, next was 5, 9, 5th position 0, 9th position 0, 5, 9 position 0, 0, right? Then 6 and 6 and 8, this is 6th and this is 8, 
you know, zero. This is how these points are allocated. Simple. One seven, uh, seven seven points. Then three one after one three eleven four ten. These are the good points. Let me write here. Two twelve one malefic. Right then five nine and six eight. Here the malefic tends to zero. While one seven one seven comma let me take three eleven and four ten. These ten seven points. Simple logic. Six positions are zero zero. Six these are malefic positions. Two twelve five nine six eight. Zero zero point will be allotted because these are the positions of the two moons, bright bright moon and bright moon moon. Right, so their moons are in if these positions. One twelve. Uh, this is one seven. One seven row wise. So let me take the second row. Now in this case there is second sign, two sign. So if I just take from bright groom's uh, rasi or sign, this is second sign. Now this two number or second sign will be considered as first house, first house, first position. So from this two, if I take one seven, what is one seven then? It will be two and eight. So two because this is first house. Sorry, this is first house. Where are taking this? Way. This is two. Now in this case second sign. This is first. In this case this two sign is first house now. It is zero one seven. Eighth house or eighth sign. This is now the second position. This is two and this is. Sorry, this is one seven. One seven is second house. I'm sorry. I have to consider the second house or second sign. This is from from a bridegroom's sign. We have to just take it. So this is known as consider the first house, second sign. So seven points are there in first house. First one seven position. What will be then seven position? Eighth eighth sign. This is one and this is eighth sign. Second row. This is eighth sign. First and the second or seventh. Seventh will be now eighth sign. So below the eighth sign, here we find the second row seven points. Right. Now this is one seven position. So from the the sign which we are considering from there we have to count as one house one, then count to one two three up to seven. Seven will be from this uh, this one sorry second one this seventh the second sign. So this from second sign this is first house seven points. Then one two three four five six seven means eighth sign below eighth sign seven points will be there. Then after one seven position three eleven from this one two three so this fourth sign or fourth tenth sign now will be the third house right so three now eleventh will be three and eleventh house will be which one so this is let me take three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven means twelfth sign eleven sign will be twelfth sign that means seven points then four and Fourth, now fourth. So this is first two one two three four seven points. So four on ten position. What is the tenth position then? Four and tenth position will be this one eleventh sign. Because four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one sign before Pisces means Aquarius sign. Okay, so four ten three eleven. They, these houses or these signs will be seven seven points, and others will be zero zero. Why? So there will be the, those will be two twelve position, two twelve, then five nine and six eight. Consider this. This is second house. I mean, uh, first first house from seven second sign we have taken as first first house. We consider first house first position of the moon. This is first position. Second position zero, two twelve. Now twelve will be. This was the eleventh last one. Twelfth sign will be while the eleventh one from twelfth to the first. This is this is twelfth sign. If it is first sign, then one sign before will be twelfth sign, twelfth house or twelfth position. It is the twelfth position zero. Right. So two 
12, 2, 12 positions. 2 is this 3 sign or Gemini sign. Below Gemini sign, this is 2nd house, 2nd position of the moon. 2nd and 12th position is this. So, 0, 0. Right? So, this is 2, 12 position. Now, come to the 5th, 5, 9 position. So, this is 2, 3, 4, 5. First zero four. 4. This is 5. And 9 will be this 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 5 and 9 position right then 6th six, 6th position so this is uh, 2 uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 to so 7th sign right or Libra sign below Libra sign this is 6th 6th position now of moon 6th position and 6 and 6 and 8 this is 6 7 8 0, zero. So please try to understand this is very simpler one. The sign which we are considering, we are taking as first position. That is the first position, first house for example. The first position of the moon then seventh position from there will be seven points. Right? One, seven position. Three, eleven position. Seven, seven points. And four and ten. These are the six positions which will be allotted as seven, seven points. Now from where we have to count that number? In the same row. And suppose we are counting first house from here, then the twelfth will be this one. So first and twelfth is zero. Right? So one house below or before will be the twelfth house. Right? Now the third position. This is a three sign or journey sign. This is journey sign. So from bridegroom sign counting. This is seventh or sorry, seven points are given to first house. So Germany, the journey sign is considered as the first house or first position of the moon so this is one and seven position what is seven position one two three four five six seven ninth sign three and nine seven seven points right this is one seven position then after one seven three eleven with three eleven this is first third one is this is the first second and third so this three position third position three third position or three eleven three eleven now eleven will be which one one house before this is uh, from this one this is one house before twelfth house this is eleventh house so this is the first i mean the first row or first vertical sign vertical uh, vertical line in which first house is this eleventh position this is twelfth one this is first third Germany sign be considered as the first position of the moon first one two three four five six seven so one seven then three eleven so three is this one fifth fifth sign is three third position and eleventh position three eleven eleven will be now if I take the fifth one this is third position three four five six seven eight nine ten and this is eleven in the same row in the, from the beginning this is the 11th position 12th position 0 that I already said second position this is the first position in the third one this first position one first house second 2 and 12 0 0 2 12 0 0 right then 5 9 0 0 so this is first third one first 2 3 4 5 Fifth position is this. Six, seven, eight, nine, zero, zero. So fifth and ninth position, zero, zero. And sixth and eighth. This is the sixth one. And this is the eighth one. Six, seven, eight, so zero, zero. In this way, count from this same sign which we are considering. That is the first one, first position of the moon. From there, seventh position will be seven points. And three, eleven position, count two house more from that first position one two three three position third position third house the third position of the moon of the first bridegroom this bridegroom's moon, moon position the sixth house and then the eighth uh, sorry this is the fifth house uh, first we are taking three three eleven so three and eleven then fourth and ten so these six positions will be seven seven points the other two twelve right then five nine and six eight here the malefic, these six positions are of the moon. Which one? 2, 12, 5, 9, and 6, 8. These three pairs or six positions are malefic.
and the other remaining six, six position which are 1, 7, 3, 11, 4, 10 are known as benefit code. They are given 7,000 points. This is the how we have to consider. Suppose I am taking the fourth sign of cancer sign. This is fourth one. Now come below this uh, bridegroom sign. This is four and this is the first. Suppose code. this is first position one. From this seven position, what is this seven position? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is seven, seven points. So one seven positions, seven, seven points. Right? Then third position. So one, two, three. This is third position. What is the eleventh position from here? So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is eleventh. So three, eleven position. Okay, this is three position, this is eleven position, seven, seven points. Then four and ten. This was the first one, fourth. One, two, three, four, seven points, fourth position. Tenth position will be which one? Because this was the eleventh one, this is tenth position. So these are the what you call four, ten, good position. They are they are given seven points. This is how seven points are allotted. Okay. Good positions or then positions are one seven. Uh, then 3, 11, 4, 10. So, 7, 7 points are allotted. So, from where we have to count the sign which we are considering, that is considered at the first house, first position. From there, 7th position will be 7 points. Then, from that first one, we have to count the third house. 1, 2, 3, third house, 7 points. 3, then 11th position from third house, third, 4, 5. In this way, 11th position will be 7 points. And 4 and 10, next house. After four, so this double double we are taking. So this we are considering fourth one as the first house. This is fourth one, first house. Then third one, fourth house, fourth position, three position, fourth position, four seven seven points. Then ten and eleven position, seven seven points. Actually tenth and eleventh, seven seven points. So there are pair of seven seven points. But in case of first house, first house, second house is zero. So one seven zero, then seven seven got three and. 4th position 7 7 then 5 and 9 0 0 5th position and 6th position 0 0 which are negative I mean malefic positions then 7th position is 7 positive position or 7th position positive 8th is 0 9th position is 5 9 0 so 8th and 9th 0 0 0 both then 10th and 11th 7 7 in this way uh, just count the houses one seven points second zero point third position three eleven so three is seven points fourth position is also seven points positive then fifth and sixth zero zero right seventh zero seven position and eighth is zero seventh was seven points sorry seventh was seven points and eighth is zero point but ninth is negative five nine position so zero but ten eleven seven seven points then 12th is 0 point in this way right 12th is 0 point so 2 12 0 0 5 9 0 0 6 8 0 0 but 1 7 3 11 4 10 these are the 7 7 points simple we can just count from the sign which we are considering suppose this is the fourth sign or fifth sign i'm taking now so from fifth sign fifth Leo sign, this is Leo sign, fifth, fifth. So, uh, diagonally, seven, seven points are allotted, no problem at all. For that, the first position, five, five. This is liberal, uh, Leo sign, seven points. First house, second house will be zero, right? Three will be seven, third house will be seven, fourth will also be seven, fifth and sixth, zero, zero. Seventh will be seven, seventh position. This is fifth and sixth, zero, zero, seven, seven. Fifth, sorry, uh, what is it? Three and four. Then fifth and sixth, zero, zero. Seventh is seven point. Eighth is zero. Ninth is zero. Ninth is zero. Ten and eleven, seven, seven. Tenth and eleven, seven, seven. Twelfth is zero, this is zero. But fifth is seven. So in this way, this marking is done. Okay? This is how these points are allotted. Just remember the positions. One, seven, positive. From where we have to count one, the number which we are considering, this 